Hey all John here, welcome back to another video. And today I just got back from a computer computer refurbisher that I usually work with. They supplied the hard drives, the RAM, the, the Xeon processors, a lot of the various components I use in my current server setup. Um, they usually work with bigger companies because it's enterprise gear they sell, but um, I found a really good deal on an R740 XD that they had. Um, this can hold up to, I think, 18 three and a half inch um, drives. Um, that's perfect for me, honestly. I have four SAS drives that um, are basically getting full on, this, on the Precision 7820 and I want something that can hold more. So I'm thinking I fill up, let's say, I can probably fill up the, just the front, uh, I think holds about 12. Um, drives and then of course you have four bays inside of the 2U NAT inside of the 2U R740 XD and then you have two in the back. Um, so I'm gonna start with the four I have right now, throw those in, start buying newer um, probably Iron Wolf or Sika XTOS drives. I'm probably gonna switch those over to SATA so I can get away from this SAS uh, stuff that I've been running with, but we'll see. It just depends on pricing. Um, but yeah, I picked this up. I'm going to be basically transplanting the existing Xeon Gold that I have in this, all the RAM from the 7820, all going to be moving into the 740XD. Um, and of course, I'm just going to be expanding this over time. But the 14 terabyte drives that I have in the 7820, they're basically at 80% capacity. They need to be upgraded. So we're just going to be adding more to that cluster. Not in this video, in the future, I'll probably make a video on how to add. Uh, more drives in TrueNAS, but I'm just going to talk about how I'm going to basically install TrueNAS on this new machine. Um, this R740 is technically a data domain a unit, um, so I'm going to be flashing the BIOS over to conventional Dell R740 uh, firmware, this basic BIOS that you would download from Dell themselves, and uh, we're just going to go from there. So, of course, um, you guys might be curious to know how loud my setup is right now. It's pretty quiet, other than the fact that you can hear hard drive seeking. The R740 is definitely going to be adding a bit of hum to my apartment, but it is what it is. Um, I want the performance and the this expandability. So um, we're going to move on to the next step. All right, so this is going to probably peak a little bit, but I'm going to put this near my NAS uh, just so you can hear the existing setup and what this sounds like. Just so you can get the sound volumes. Pretty quiet. That will change with the R740. So um, let's get this set up. Alrighty, so here we are in TrueNAS scale. Um, as you can see, my main data set is at 80%, so we're pushing it. And of course, I don't have any hard drive bays left, um, and I want to keep my spares for sure. So I'm going to dive into the, how this is set up. So of course, there's two 14 terabyte drives in here. As you can see, it's a one mirror, two wide. But I also have two spare VDEVs. So those are known as hot spares. So let's say one of those drive dot one of those drives dies, it'll just spin up one of the spares right away. Um, that it's already in the system. I don't want to have to sacrifice one of these, so um, I just will get. I, I think the other option I could have gone with is by getting a dish shelf, but honestly, I just don't want to do that. So I'm going to be going this route, and uh, yeah, um, now let's get this sh all shut down. So we're going to go over to our dashboard. We're going to shut this system, has been up for a good while here. So let's get this shut down, and then we're going to start pulling out the drives and pulling it out of the rack. Hey all, John here. Welcome back. This is two days later. The system is finally set up. So I have learned a couple things that I'm going to repeat back to you guys. So the CPU that I had in the 7820, for some reason, it messed up my memory configuration on this specific system. So I ended up going back to the Xeon Bronze um, until I can figure out a better CPU to place in here for what I'm going to be using it for. Um, another thing, I'd recommend doing a clean install and basically saving your uh, encryption keys. I did this a long time ago, so I had a backup. Um, so nothing went wrong, but when I tried transplanting the boot SSD into the system, it only recognized one of uh, one out of two in my RAID one. So of course the data was there, but I didn't want a situation where it's like it's only the data is only running off of one drive. So if there's a drive failure, I could potentially lose my data. So I ended up moving the system back into the 7820 and pulling out the two hot spares that are always on. Um, put them in here and then did a snapshot on the 7820 and replication tasks to push over SSH to the new system. So that worked out, all the data is here. I've already done all the comparisons. Everything is good there. Um, another thing, um, setting up the apps, the Docker or Kubernetes apps, whatever uh, TrueNAS would like to call it, uh, IX systems, I mean. Um, I had to manually set up the gateway. Um, it's just typing in what my 
gateway is so it can get online and get to the app store so that was no big deal um, another thing my ssds um i cannot run uh pcie bifurcation by 16. the maximum on the system is is by eight um the, the ultra speed quad requires a time 16 lane um because you're doing four by four by four by four for pcie um m.2 pcie m.2 um, mvme pcie ssds um so that's out the window um that's fine i ended up just taking out the two drives i use for personal use De just deprecating those and replacing them with 870 evils um i don't need high speed uh, data transfer for let's say the vdi so that is fine um at least for my use case um the other two remaining ssds will be used for video editing so i can still get the full 10 gig um traffic out of them so that will be fine um other than that i have not seen any other issues all my data is here i ended up not transferring um my app so i think i mentioned that already um this starting over with just net data um same thing i will reset up because again this, this is a new data set anyways um technically in a way i just rather start fresh and then bring in a whole bunch of stale database entries or however it works um but yeah um i hope you enjoyed this video uh, feel free to let me know if there's anything you would like me to expand on um and we'll go from there thanks all right so all right, so I almost forgot to do this, but this is going to be a sound comparison between the 7820, which I already gave you, and the R740. This is just the same mic levels, um, and this is on the sound cap setting on the minimum fan speed, just so you can hear what this will sound like in your environment, even at its minimum. All right, sound check complete.